By the end of this video you will know how to do this nice effect all in Filmora 13, so stay tuned! Hey hello, my name is Andres from Wondershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. So I'm just gonna show you two different ways to do this unfolding paper stop motion with the effects found in Filmora, so yeah, let's jump right in. We will use the AI mask tool to remove the background, select character, and what I like about AI mask is that you can actually manipulate the notes just to make it look perfect. Once you're satisfied, let's create a compound clip and name it character. Let's choose a background under the stock media tab. Also search for paper stop motion and bring the paper folding stop motion animation into the timeline. This animation has four parts, so I'll cut them just for you know easier editing. So let's use the chroma key to remove the green background. Actually, let's drag the Sanjit's clip above it. Okay. Now let's set the blend mode of our subject to darken. Let's do that for all the clips. And this is what we have so far. I mean, if you're in a rush, this kind of do the job, but if you see this area here, wait, 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 wait. hold on, where are you going? There is an issue here, and is that we can see our subject Sanjeev is visible like through the paper, which sh should be pure white because, you know, is the other side, you know, of course. To fix this, let's copy and paste the stop motion animation and place it above all the clips. And let's use the Smart Cutout tool, done, to select the area that we actually want to keep. Let's go to the advanced mode and let's track forward and backward. What I love about this tool is that you actually can go like frame by frame and adjust it. Let's repeat this process for all the animations and let's watch. And there you have it. It is a visually appealing effect using Filmora's AI tools and some other effects. Pretty easy, pretty convenient, and it will help your videos stand out. But hold on, I'm gonna show you something else. If you're wondering why we're using a black background, well, that's because we're working with blending modes, and that's like, yeah. If you want to actually use a white background, well, technically you will need to mask out the subject. But it's a pretty easy mask you will need like two, three keyframes tops, okay? So just let me show you really quick. Now, if you wanna change the position or the scale or rotation of your unfolding paper stop motion effect, this is what you need to do. Let's create a compound clip for all these clips and let's name it Final Effect. And... Oh no! So I wanted to do that because I knew that was gonna happen. And this is actually how we fix it. This is how I fix it. Okay, the blend mode is not working because we set it up to darken for the other effect that is inside the compound clip, but now that we compound clip the compound clip, now we need to change the blend mode of the final compound clip actually to lighten. And there you go. Now we can just adjust the scale, rotation if you want, position if needed, and that's it. Now, don't try this one at home, but I kind of like it. Okay, I'm gonna show you another different way to do it. It's, you know, sketchy. I just, it, it looks good. When I was looking at the effects, I found this cool slow motion animation. So I placed it on top of Sanjit's clip, use the chroma key to delete actually the blue background, and we get a nice new animation. So let's create a compound clip again, just to get rid of the color of the letter, in this case, orange. Now let's adjust the edge thickness until the outline disappears. Now let's select these two clips and let's create a compound clip. Let's name it green key. 
and let's get rid of the green screen. Boom. Now we need this animation to match our subject's silhouette. Let's click on the compound clip, let's use the AI mask, boom, select character, there you go, and boom, and there you go. Now let's just make it look nice. And that's it, a simple but effective way to create a stunning video effect using Filmora. It definitely makes your videos stand out when you put a lot of effort and you spend some time on it. So yeah, let us know how it goes on your end. If you have some examples, feel free to send us the link to the video so we can watch it, I would love to watch it. And yeah, that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on the channel. Keep creating and I'll see you next time.